Morning, us. We are at the Baptist uh, Cemetery where the late lawmaker, Honorable Mona Pena Youngblood, will be laid to rest. Just a brief uh, view of this uh, cemetery here. Uh, wherever you are watching, I also like to welcome you to Freedom TV Live. And this is the uh, wall where the late lawmaker will be laid to rest. Uh, those are watching Freedom TV, we are live here, and as you can see, this is where she will be laid to rest. And I'm here, Jonathan Arling, bringing you this live, live coverage at the Baptist Cemetery in Congo Town, the back road, and she will be laid to rest right here. Just to bring you a short view of this, we had to ask the security uh, for permission before doing this. And so if you're watching, this is... Uh, 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 the stone, as a matter of fact, decorated for the late Mona Pena Youngblood. If you're there watching us, Freedom TV Live, uh, coming to you. So those of you watching us, this is where she will be laid to rest. So that's it. As you see in the floor, right? In here, where she will be laid to rest. Those of you watching us, uh, Freedom TV live coming to you, and uh, that's it. Like I said, a brief, brief view of uh, the uh, wall here, where the late lawmaker will be laid to rest. Here, Baptist Cemetery at Tarak Road. For those of you watching us, as you there watching. So you're viewing where should we lay to rest. Uh, those of you diaspora who cannot be in Liberia, and this is our way to help you view where she will be laid to rest. The late honorable lawmaker of district number nine, Montserrado County. Freedom TV live coming to you. So they have it. This is where she'll be laid to rest. Yeah. And uh, this is the place, as a matter of fact, you have uh, the canopy where the president and the interviews will be. As you're viewing us, you have a gathering of seditions. Uh, the culture troops are also here present. Uh, Freedom TV Live bringing to you uh, this Saturday afternoon in Monrovia, Liberia. Jonathan Arling is with you. You are viewing, right? You're viewing the vault where the... Uh, from a lawmaker will be laid to rest. Yep, this is where she'll be laid to rest. So if you're watching us, so if you're watching, so let's see what's on the uh, the stone here. This stone it says, "The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. He make me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. Uh, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths." Of righteousness for his name's sake. And I see here memorial honorable Mona E. Pena Youngblood, a gift that God gave to us 22nd September 1983. A God's gift returneth is July 2020. Uh, positions held representative district number nine, Montserrado County, 54th National Legislature, Republic of Liberia, honorable. A chairperson, Houses Committee on Executive, Honorable uh, World Bank, IMF Legislative, Liberia's Chapter. We have Member, Gender Equality, uh, Child Development and Social uh, Service, Post and Telecommunication, Member, Member Information, Broadcasting, Culture, Affairs and Tourism, Member, uh, Good Governance and Government Reform, uh, State Protocol Officer, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Republic of Liberia, Administrator, uh, di Administrative Director, Directress, uh, JJ Rawls Memorial School, Insight Media Incorporated, the PRO for Insight Media Incorporated, from a uh, fashion module, runaway module address, and national uh, athlete, a uh, co owner, LIB Vocational Institute, and we have owner or CEO, Monique. Modeling or talent agency owner of President Ladies and Things Beauty Salon. May the work 
I have done speak for me. So that's what you find on uh, the stone here, right before the vault of uh, the uh, former lawmaker of District Number Nine, Montserrado County. Freedom TV Live coming to you on this Saturday afternoon. Liberia, a very, very sad for our country, a very sad for people of Montserrado County District Number Nine, seditions and the entire country. So those of you watching us, like I said to you, this is a brief, a brief video for you to get exactly uh, where the lawmaker will be laid to rest. And I can say for free, uh, we'll be the first year. Freedom TV is on top of what we do. And uh, it's a very sad, sad moment. And uh, so watching us, we're about to say goodbye to you. We we'll try to bring this to you uh, on this day, a very sad, like I said, sad and emotional emotional day in Liberia where I saw the president cry uh, while giving his speech. Uh, so that's it. You have all the cemeteries here, all the uh, great people who lost their lives uh, also buried here. And as you can see, it's a very huge, huge uh, cemetery with uh, lots of, uh, you know, uh, grave sites as well. So folks, if you're watching us, this is what we're bringing to you. The late Mona Pena Youngblood's vault where she'll be laid to rest. And so that's it. And you also have on that uh, that stone you have there the the the, uh, uh, the badge of the CDC, the Coalition for Democratic Change. We have it right there, the People's uh, the People's uh, Party. That's why I see you right there. It's called the People's Party. Yep, uh, you're watching the People's Party. So this is where she will be laid to rest. Yeah, the vault right in here. That's scary, yeah? That's scary. But you know we have to do our job just for you. This is where she'll be laid to rest. Of course, so... Uh, uh, you're watching us. You're watching. This is the place. So when you come from uh, outside of uh, the main road, from the back road, as soon as you get to where the cemetery is, on your left, is where the vault is, the vault of the late Mona Pena Yombla. So those of you in the diaspora who come to Liberia just to see uh, where she was buried, as soon as you, 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 you get down right to where we have the entry, you come all the way to uh, the grave site. The end of the fence before the grave site on your left is where uh, she will be buried. So interviewing, you have the president of security officers here and uh, the armed forces of Liberia. We have the Liberia National Police is here, the Joint Security, as a matter of fact. We have several other uh, people standing by and watching here. As we speak, the uh, funeral service is still ongoing at the Samuel Kayando's post, post complex in Pinsville. But we thought to come out here to bring you a quick view of where she would lay to rest. Uh, I also feel I also feel emotional as we speak. I feel very very emotional right now. It's painful. It's painful actually. It's very very painful. I, you know, I feel like crying. Yeah, I feel like crying. But if I cry now, I'm not going to talk. But it's painful actually to know that uh, an astute, brilliant, and I'm telling you, people-centered leader uh, is gone 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 too soon. You know, it's painful actually. A lady who has inspired a lot of people, young people, young women. Uh, in Liberia and other parts of the world is going to be laid to rest today. It's a painful, very sad, sad uh, thing to think of. I can say this free. It's a very sad thing to think of. She has played a pivotal role in this country in showing that uh, the voice of women be heard in Liberia. She was the youngest female, youngest female elected in the House of Representatives from District Number 9. So, she played a very crucial role in this country. You see, she was a part of one of the major political parties, and now the ruling party of Liberia, the Coalition for Democratic Change, and they fought to ensure uh, that the party came to where it is today. She is one of the progenitors of, uh, you know, the the Congress for Democratic Change. They formed the party. They were there together. They were in the storms, in the rain, in the you know, fighting to ensure that the Canto permanence, the Canto uh, state power, and today they are there, and she's leaving them and going uh, to uh, the law. It's a painful moment. I know very painful for some of you ideas. She's speaking with you, but 
nothing we can say. All we can say to God, let your will be done. Let your will be done. And I believe it is your will that this has happened. And so we give it up to you and we believe that you're going to take control. So folks, thanks to all of you who want us here from TV Live. We'll, we'll still leave you. Like I said, I want to bring you just a short, short video of where the late Law maker, the honorable of the district number nine, Mona and Youngblood, will be laid to rest. So before I leave you, let me just go back to show you inside of uh, the vault again. Uh, so you see, uh, it's decorated. Uh, it's decorated inside of the vault. If you are watching. Uh, so she's being buried. A state woman, of course, she is a state woman. She was a state woman. Uh, so this is the vault where she will be laid to rest. Freedom TV live coming to you uh, this Saturday afternoon in live. Will be
that Muna is gone for real. She's gone for real. Saluting her mother remains. Where we are, we are very safe. Just joining us, welcome the burial ceremony of the late representative of district number nine, Mona Pena Yumbla, is currently ongoing. So she's gone for real. Only her images and past records you're gonna be getting in contact with. All we can say, may her soul rest in perfect peace. The army. The army getting the national color, getting the national color prepared. And that's the Casty Berry, the mortal remains of the late representative. And this is one of the beautiful parts, though it's not a, it's not welcoming, but one way or the other, the guys in uniform, they really know how to do this. Mona was an outstanding Liberian lawmaker who performed her duty whenever she was called upon. And today, she is being celebrated 
by thousands of Liberians and women abroad. members of the late representative, friends and supporters have gathered here to celebrate her life. Though she died very young, but at least her legacy is speaking for her here today. Though she died a very young, a, a lady who was born the 22nd of September, 1983, did not live to see what she wished for them. And the mother is in total pain today. The mother is in total pain. She could not withstand this, who not the Britons, uncles, and other family members had the privilege, or they were very brave to come and they are observing the ceremony. Remember in 1999, August 10. The late representative father was buried here, who died in plane crash. That is the headquarter that killed uh, Jote. Those of you who were around, then yeah, we were around, but at that time, some of us. At that time, some of us, we were very, we were very. <laughs> We were very, very, very small at that time, uh, yeah. But we heard about it, and we saw some of the event. They are presenting the flight to the commander. Oh my God. This is a clear indication that Mona is going The Saji of Han will do a roll call here. Present. Present. They are calling lawmakers now. Presenting the flag to her family. Who is going to receive it? Is it Mr. Penner, her brother, Messi? Whether he's the one. Okay, let's join the team. On behalf of the president, the, the microphone is giving the folks their tough time. On behalf of the president, and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Liberia, the Ministry of National Defense, Armed Forces of Liberia and our great nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of appreciation for the honorable service of your loved ones and the life perpetual. Laura 
Joseph can. Larazzo Pena received the national court on behalf of the family. Lorenzo Pena is a brother to the late representative. Let's see what's going to happen again. What is it that St. Moses is telling the folks there? See the deputy uh, protocol saying no to him. What I heard was I I could not get the rest, but it's like he's trying to get deep into this, but the chance is not given him. Now Mona is about to enter her loan or her apartment where she will never come out, no visitor, nobody gonna visit her and she's not gonna visit anybody. Every one of us will go to that apartment one after another. May her soul rest in peace and let us live the best life that we can and help others be a help to somebody. Wow. This is the result of life, the life that we borrowed. This is how we turn it over. She's no longer in pain. She's to a place where she's resting now. 
So this is how we are gonna go. It's just a matter of time. This is how we're gonna go.